Kosher food has been in the news in a big way lately after the federal government staged the largest immigration raid in history on the largest kosher meatpacking plant in the country, out in Iowa. Rabbi Menachem Ganak is the rabbinic administrator and CEO of the Kashrut Division of the Union of Orthodox Jewish Congregations of America, better known as the Orthodox Union, the folks with the OU symbol on kosher food. The conservative movement has just adopted a series of restrictions on what kind of food can be kosher based on worker treatment, animal, environmental, and so on. Why can't the largest kosher agency in the country begin looking at moral issues like that? Let's just think, is it possible to set up, you know, independent of the federal government, what, you know, the federal laws are, some kind of regulation? And I, I think the answer is both for legal and practical reasons, it's actually impossible and would be irresponsible. I mean, there is a, a possibility to set up a, um, you know, in terms of the rigorous definition of what kosher is and, and what affects, the, you know, the permissibility of the meat. But these ancillary issues, um, uh, you know, environmental protection, should the OU with no expertise or, frankly, this rabbinic group, you know, said, well, this is the standard that what we want in place and on what authority do you establish that and what expertise do you bring to it? The focus is all about Agri, but Agri is one company. There are 7,000 plants under the OU. Uh, several thousand companies that are under the OU. I don't think there's a single company, serious company, whether it be a Procter & Gamble or, you know, you name the companies, can say, you know what, we have an OU, we're interested in this Hershut Sedek as well. Because they're going to say, you know, on what basis, Ra Rabbi X, whoever it is, as well motivated as you are, what's the standard that you're establishing?